Hi Shell Bower here again. For those of you that watched my last tutorial, I said I was going to show you how to make this bauble. But this time I've decided to pop it on the front of a card to make like a shaker card. And for this we're going to need, I've just used a black base card, piece of white mat in the middle, the red for our fancy bit, acetate for the window, white for the back of the bauble and for this piece I found it a lot easier if I had it on the self adhesive sheet so I could just peel it off and stick it onto the acetate. So we're going to use those dies from that box magazine and we're going to use the stamps. I have pre-cut all my pieces but I am going to show you how we're going to cut them on here. So let's make the card. So now let's make the card. I'm just going to move these out of the way. Don't need these at the minute. So first of all, we've got our Gemini. You do get a book that will tell you what plates to use. So don't worry, we're doing an integrate guide, a die, so it says we need a clear plate. Then I need my plastic shim, as you can see mine are really buckled. A magnetic one. Then I need, what I should have done first, is my piece of red card. And the self adhesive sheet. You would just peel this off and stick it on there. I'm just going to cut this off because I don't want it to stick to my metal plate. I'm going to pop that there. And I want to do it all in one go, so I'm going to put it all down, but make sure you get it in. And I've got some purple tape just to keep it on there. And it has to be, the side that it's going to cut has to be up. We need our metal plate, our cutting plate. Turn the Gemini on, like I said mine's rather buckled and then we would just feed it into the machine. And it will just take it away, you don't have to hold the button, you can just leave it, just be ready to catch it at the other end. it comes. So that's our first piece done. It's our intricate dies. We just need this bauble again on our piece of white. drop these on your toes. I dropped them on my toes and the air was blue I can tell you now. There's my white bauble. Ball. 
So there we go. Oh, that's right. If someone's got a tip how to get my plates flat, please tell me. I've already done mine but I will show you what, what I did I just this mat and obviously most of it don't force it just give it a extra rub And obviously you need to finish poking the rest of those bits out but I've already done mine so I'm just going to tidy up and I'll come back so now I'm all nice and tidy again let's get to the next bit shall we well I think we'll do our stamping first stamps out of that box again and I'm going to use the Merry Christmas for the inside of my card and merry and bright in the middle of my bauble just roughly in the middle there Now, bauble, what I do with the bauble is I bring the bauble in and I actually put this piece on it so that we're going to get it smack bang in the middle. merry and bright in the middle of our bauble and our merry christmas in the middle of our card and so now the fun begins we've got our piece of acetate and we've got this now the best way i found was to just move those up there unpick the top of the bauble I try to get it in line with the acetate bauble. Had a quick look. It's going to line up. And I just tried to gently peel it away. on there nicely now now this piece I turned it over I've got some foam strip and I just went round the outer edge
gonna have a join just be very careful butt it up as close as you can because we don't want any gaps so now we've got our foam all on the back there what I do next is I actually like this way get my sequins it's up to you how many you pop in I normally sort of just have a little I think that'd be enough and then what I would do is unpick all this and try to If you've enjoyed my tutorial today then please click the like and subscribe and push the little bell icon all the details for the cards and the bauble everything i've used today will be on my blog and my facebook page which is shellscraftcorner.co.uk and i look forward to doing the next tutorial bye bye for now